Okay, hello, and welcome to Sassy Sally's. Someone said that I should announce myself every time I do a video. I'm announcing it is Sassy Sally's channel. Okay, um, we have, oops, a TV haul, y'all. I took everything out just so I could look at it. I literally just got it a couple hours ago. First of all, hi. How are you? I'm doing okay. You're going to hear some noise in the background. They are finishing my kitchen floor. We did construction a little backwards. A lot backwards. I have some cupboards that are up, but they're not stained, they're not painted, they're not whatever. None of it. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. None of it is done. But I have some cupboards that are up because I kept on complaining that I couldn't put my dishes away, I couldn't do this, I couldn't do that, you know. And so my husband said, let's just put the cupboards up and paint around it. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I wanted the kitchen floor to be done because I got tired of um, the paneling that was underneath or the, yeah, the wood and stuff. It was chipping up. And so we had to replace a lot of it anyways. So let's just get the flooring done. And we'll just throw down a tarp or something. A painter's tarp on the floor. So when you guys paint the walls, it'll be done. And no, they're not going to be this color. I don't remember the name of the color that I chose. But I made sure that it was wipeable. I don't think I'm going to have a uh, splash guard or whatever on my wall. I think I'm I I'm done with all kinds of remodeling things because this has been going on for quite some time. But they are going to be finishing my floors today, and so you'll probably hear some pounding and probably the vacuum on occasion. All right, I have the prices to some of the things that are in this haul, and some of it I did not get yet, and I, I did not open anything, I just took it out of the bag. So, let's start with, this is a dish mat, you know. So I can put it underneath my colander and, you know, I have two dish mats there that are washable that I can put in the uh, wash machine. And they are filthy. They need to be washed and I haven't really gone anywhere to go buy a new one and I saw this and I thought it's me I like the coffee scene for my kitchen so coffee and, and chickens I don't know a little weird but that's what I like so I bought that and this coffee dish mat was eight dollars and 49 cents all right so we shall now that's what i paid for it if you go on timu and you want the same one it might be a little different for you I 
the garbage can right there. All right, all right. Now this is see. Got a nice rubber back to it. And fresh beans, coffee time. That's what it says. Good size. And it's easy to wipe off if something gets on it. You can clean it because I do still get, I will still get some dust and everything. So when this gets all nasty and dusty, I can wipe it off and, you know, so there's that. Now, I am disappointed with Timu somewhere on this pile, but anyways... I'm disappointed with Timu because I thought it was going to be an average size like this, like the coffee one. No. But like my husband says, this is the Boho, Boho dish drying mat and this one is $2.98. What am I supposed to dry on this? A cup? One plate? I mean, this is the size. I mean, seriously? But, like my husband tells me, you get what you pay for. So, that is a little disappointing. Will I use it? Sure, because I've got another one about the same size, just a different uh, design. I think it's cute. So, and it's got the same material as the coffee one. Nice rubber back so things don't slide around. Even if you're just using it for... Um, For, you know, without the strainer. You know. So, uh, that's that. Then, I got my garden square. I've wanted one. I've always wanted one. It even comes with the measurements for, or not the measurements, but it tells you, um, Tells you on the back of here, like, uh, well, I'm having a hard time seeing it because it's glossy. It has little things like cabbage and this, that, and the other on there. So, I've always wanted one, and now I got one. Nice little garden square. Tell me. You know, the size holes that I need, and this, that, and the other. So, that's what I got that. Oh, and then the price for that was... Uh, let me see. Okay, this, the square seed sewing, $9.79. At least that's what I paid. Prices changed all the time on Timu, so that's that. Okay, compression socks, y'all. I've been looking for the short compression socks, and I finally found them on Timu. Now, the compression socks were let me see if I can find them on here. Uh, here we go. Uh, eight pairs of compression socks for $15.48. Not bad. 
a pair. I mean, it's not like you can walk into Walmart. I'm looking for the. It's not like you can walk into Walmart and buy compression socks. So. I think I've had socks like this before. But. I don't know. But these are the short ones. They're supposedly my size. Individually wrapped here. Yeah, they're going to fit. No problem. And these are the short ones. And I think they're all the same color. Okay, there's ones with the blue stripe on it. Oh no, I think they're all the same. They're all the same color. So eight pairs of compression socks. You know, they'll be the same kind of socks. I can change them every day. I have compression socks for my feet, but I didn't want the ones with the toes cut off. And these feel soft, y'all. Real soft. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> so for what was it? Oh, compression socks fifteen forty eight for eight pairs. Not bad. Not a bad price. Then y'all, okay, mystery box, I have no idea, is it my wind chime, can it be my wind chime, I ordered a wind chime, see, Tibu has everything, I think it is, I think it's my wind chime, I am a wind chime nut. My outside of my house is just, it's starting to get covered with wind chimes. Okay. Little hearts. Let me get it under the bag. This is going to be, I think it's hard, yeah. This is going to be somewhat of a long video because I didn't take any of this stuff out of the bag. It's all twisted and everything, but it's little hearts. Isn't it beautiful? Add that to my collection. Once I untangle it, it'll be better. But there we go. Little hearts of a wind chime. Okay, I saw the wind chime down here. Uh, no, that's not in. Okay, wind chime is $8.48. Okay. Straw cleaners. I needed some straw cleaners and I'm always losing them. So look at that. It comes on a keychain. You got the real small ones. You got some real small teeny ones medium ones and then you got the fat ones another medium one so I'm always losing them so this is perfect for me I have tons of straws under in I collect them I'm a straw I love to drink um, my stuff I 
am no longer drinking soda. I am drinking. This is water in here. I bought myself a soda stream and I've been doing it now for the last two, three weeks. Okay. Straws. Cleaner. Straw cleaner. Okay. Reusable straw cleaner for a dollar sixty-eight. That's what the straw cleaner is. Okay. When I first took this out of the bag, I'm like, what the? Because of the handle. I'm like, what the? Duh. I didn't order, uh, you know. I thought, what the? It's my dog's hairbrush. I'm telling you, Timu has everything. They just don't make their packages easier to... Okay, hold on, hold on. My dog is at that stage now where he's starting to shed a lot. Your dog's going through that, y'all. So I found this brush. Comes with a little... I found this brush. It's got a little push button to push the hair off. Now I don't know how well it's going to work, but it's a nice size. Nice size and it comes with a little rubber because when our other dog was alive, damn fly, when our other dog was alive, we had all kinds of brushes for her, but they're packed away still in storage, and so I just needed something that I could brush him because I started plucking him like pluck, plucking feathers the other day and I thought I gotta get a brush and I like color so there we go dog brush and the dog brush was let's see if we can find it here we go Pet hair remover, $5.88 for the dog brush. And then speaking of dog brush, I got one of these dog hair gloves. Let's see if it's going to fit my hand. Like I said, you're going to hear noises in the background. And putting in my flooring. It can get quite loud. I know. I picked the wrong day to do this, but what the hell? Whatever. All right. I know. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. All right. Here is the dog glove. It has like a mesh net on the other side okay my hand will fit look at that I could pet him and brush him not sure exactly how he's going to react to it but we'll see and maybe I, have, I could even do my cat cat's doing fine so, the hair removal glove, I know I saw it on here right away, yeah, groom your pet easy with the glove, $1.52, y'all. Here are the prices, if you don't believe me, there you go, $1.52, y'all. Alright, garden. I saw this 
and I thought I need something because going up there every day all I gotta do is turn on the water down here let the water run for about an hour or so we'll see how this works this is a um, I forgot the technical term of it. My brain is my brain function whew, starting to lose it, I think. Starting to lose it. Irrigation system. You stick these things in the ground and it's supposed to there are fifteen of them and it's supposed to um help well, not just that. Because it comes with all kinds of, it's got the tape, it comes with the, you stick them in by your plant or whatnot, and it comes with the hose. So, no directions. So, I guess I'm just going to have to figure it out on my own. this on to here I see that already I think and then hook it up to your hose somehow so we'll see I have a different one in my barn but getting to it and everything is a nightmare so I thought I'd give this okay Here's to hook it up to your hose. Little T post. I don't know. I have no idea how to hook this up. I really don't. It doesn't come with any directions. It just says here. There you go. So. I might have to get a whole bunch of different things, but there's 15 of these, so irrigation, here we go. Let's see how this works. I thought I'd give it a shot, and if it doesn't work, then I spent, well, let's find out, uh... For an irrigation kit, $15.98. That's less than what you were going to, than what you would spend for a usual irrigation system, I think. I don't remember what I spent on my other one. I just wanted to try it to see how it works. So. I got that. Alright, I bought myself a pair of knickers. Well, a pair of short pants. And I kind of don't like the material of it because it's silky. But just a plain pair. This ain't the ones that I wanted, I think. Oh, maybe it is. These are a pair of leggings for $9.48. They're very, um, I mean, hello. <laughs> very sheer there. So... They'll be very cool in the summer, I guess. And they have that uh, little, if you could see it, little netting on the bottom there. So, make sure I wear black underwear. Because, you know, you'll be able to see maybe everything. So, and they have a pocket 
That was the main reason. Pocket. I wanted a pair of pants with pockets on it. So when I'm out in the garden, I can have my phone. I have a little bit of everything in my garden right now. I have two gardens. I have one in the greenhouse. Okay, so what did I say? Those pair of pants were $9.48 for that pair of pants. Then I got myself a shirt, which I got a feeling it might not fit. And I keep these bags with the zippers on them. Yeah, um... I got myself a shirt for 4th of July, y'all. Or Memorial Day, which is Monday. No. I don't know if it's going to fit me. It's a little silky. I'm not into that silky material. I wish it would tell you what kind of material the shirt is made of. Or the pants. But... It just says t-shirt. I don't know. I mean, I am losing a little bit of weight, but not a, I don't know. But I thought it was cute. Has the butterflies. Well, I'm going to a 4th of July picnic. That my husband's going to be shooting off the fireworks for. And that shirt was six dollars and forty nine cents. So I will let you know if it fits. All right. Speaking of garden before garden boxes, and I believe I bought five of them. Yes, five garden boxes. They're all the same size. I needed some more garden and I got some seeds on its way because each time that I planted onion seeds it didn't work because my pest in my garden ate all my seeds, my onion seeds. So I got the large square garden box and I have some pumpkins or cantaloupes or watermelons so it's not as tall as I wanted it but it'll work <coughs> so I got five of these little handle on it and it'll work put in some dirt and voila it'll work for what I want it for plus I got some flowers on the, on the way so you know because these material gardens are all arranged y'all I don't even know how they have this thing full. Okay. But I got five of them. And I got those small ones still that I haven't used. So five of them. And those are, let's see. Those were, okay. Grow your own veggies boxes for $3.78. Um, yeah, but there were three dollars and seventy eight cents a piece for one of those garden boxes, and I bought five. So then it took me a little while. Okay, first, I bought myself a new purse. Actually, I got myself two new purses.
you know, because sometimes my husband complains that my purses are too big and they take up a bunch of space. So I thought I would get a new one, but it had to have pockets, y'all. So, it's got a nice little handle on it. And it's got two little zippers in the front. Right here. Regular you know, inside. I don't see any extra pockets on the inside. Yeah. It's got a zipper on the back. So, it's a cute little purse. I'll maybe be able to get my wallet and my keys and stuff in it. Cute little purse. Little disappointed with it, but you know, like my husband says, you get what you pay for. Okay, flower pattern crossbody purse, six dollars and thirty-nine cents for that purse. Then I bought my brother, and I will, I think I bought one for myself, brought my butter, brother, brother, a truck organizer, here is the hardware, okay, a hardware to hook it up, I assume. Truck organizer net. No, I won't be able to get this back into the bag, but nice little net that he could stick in the back of his truck. Hook it up. Hook it up. And it's got, you know, because he's constantly losing things off the back of his truck because he leaves his tailgate open. So I thought this would help. It's got a nice little divider, you know. And if he has to, he could take it off, throw it in a, uh, you know, throw it in the washer, put it in a delicate cycle, or just run it through with a garden hose or take it through the car wash. Wash it. Here's the hardware for it. To hook it up. So I bought that for my brother. He is coming down maybe next month. And I can give it to him then. I bought one for myself, but I don't think I'm gonna need it. Maybe. We will see. Because right now, in the back of my truck is my scooter. Let's see if I can shove this back into this bag. I'll do that later. I will do that later. Alright, so I bought two of those. And that was... Let me get there. Let me get there. Okay. Car trunk net bag, three pockets for $13.37 for that. That was for my brother. Another purse, y'all. This one looks promising. This one looks promising. I like the big purses. My husband knows I like this. I absolutely like big purses with pockets. And this one looks more like a backpack. But you can carry it like this. It's purple. My favorite color. My favorite color. It's got one, two, three pockets in the front. It's got a washable material. Kind of looks like a pair of blue jeans on the side here. Oh, 
four pockets in the front. Nice size pockets for your phone, whatnot. I might switch my purse today. It'll match my wallet, because my wallet is purple. If I can get that. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at this. It's got one of those zippers. And the inside is different. But it's like a raincoat material. So that's cool. I'm not used to a purse like this. But I thought I'd give it a shot. You know. It's like a backpack type purse. So I like that. You know. Backpack type purse. All right, and that one was, I know that was all the way up here. Okay, it was called a flap pocket shoulder bag for $14.37. If you excuse me, I have to get, drink my water. Today, the water is seven up and it's sugar-free 7-Up packets. I like to use two, sometimes. All right, eggs. You go through a recipe, you need to separate the eggs. So I bought myself two egg separators. Now, I don't have a bowl or anything in here to demonstrate, but it's got a little clip on the back, so it can stick onto your bowl. Just an ordinary little egg separator. Then, I got this one and I thought, it's cute! Why not? It looks cute. Just separating the eggs and I have chickens that have been giving me eggs like a dickens. I mean obviously I'm gonna wash it but ain't that cute? It's a flower. A little sunflower. So I thought hey why not? Put it on a cup, small little bowl. There you go. Separate them eggs. And the egg separators were okay the this one that looks like a spoon was 78 cents 78 cents I got a nice little pile going on here and the little flower one 78 cents So we have that. Okay. The other thing that was disappointing. There's the other dish mat. Two dollars. I think it was two dollars and seventy-eight cents. Oh, two dollars and ninety-eight cents. Two dollars and ninety-eight cents. Like my husband tells me, you get what you pay for. And that was the disappointing thing. Disappointing thing was, I can only dry some silverware, maybe a cup or two. So I'll put them both together, you know. I'll definitely be switching out for my crappy one, though. I have the thicker ones, the ones that are like carpet right now. This is more like a, a mouse mat. 
So maybe I might use it for that instead. Who knows? Alright. Let's move on. Stencils. I bought me, I think they're called the Farmhouse Stencils. Like I said, there are a few things that are missing from here. Yes, it's a nine piece farmhouse stencils and they're $4.48. They're just like the other stencils I got a while back. I'm trying to find the, ah, uh, here it is. Where you stick them on, a, on the keychain. Which that is very clever, but we have a chicken, we have the cow, we have an, is that a cow or is that a sheep? I don't know, you tell me. Then we have one that says, pepper please. $4.48 for this pack. Heifer, please. I think it's cute. I love the pig. And it says farm life on it. I'm a pig collector. Then this one has a little bit. Oh, okay. It's a lamb, a cow, and a pig. And it says, hey, y'all. And then we have a horse that says, hi. And of course, the good old bumblebee. And just a regular barn with some chickens, some clouds, and the rainbow and a windmill. And then Welcome to our farmhouse, and it's got a rabbit, a chicken, and a duck, and a heart. Isn't it cute? I like it. My niece is coming to live with me, and that's one reason why we are trying to finish. Huh. Okay, this ring is harder than hell to open. And then you just stick it on to the ring. Doesn't matter which way. Just stick them all on there. For four dollars and some odd cents, I like redoing furniture and stuff and using that's my signature thing is I'll use pictures. I bought myself some paints and stuff like that for specifically things like this. Alright. Good lord have mercy. But there you go. Farm stencils. Good size. I like it. The nose were four dollars and forty-eight cents for the farm stencil. Oh, here's I have no idea. You know what? Okay, Timu has really disappointed me. Okay. This tape if you can see it right here. It looks bigger. So that tape right there is this right here. This is for securing your plants, you know, like your tomato plants or something up against the cage. 
Okay, so I'm having a hard time opening this one. Usually they have that sticky side. Ah, fair enough. I think. Excuse me, talk amongst yourself. This is why I mean, you never know with Timu. Well, you never know with any, anybody, really. Okay. Time to get the trusty scissors because I don't hear it. Let's save from getting cut. It's supposed to be a softer tape. I thought the thing was going to be bigger. It's a Velcro thing. And it's supposed to be better for your plants. So there we go. And that was, my friends, that was Secure your plants with that tape. A dollar thirty-seven for that tiny little thing. All right. Speaking of plants, this is also it's like a wire for securing your plants. So if I run out of the tape, I got the wire to put around my plants. And. That is a 50 piece flexible wire for a dollar forty eight. These are for your glasses. I've always wanted to try them. And I thought, why not? Now, because I wear glasses and they are dirty. I can demonstrate, I would assume, once I get it open. If I can get it open. Like I said, this is going to be one long video. I don't know. Alright, there we go. Just like that. Take your glasses, stick it in there. Ah. It's got a nice soft, like cotton looking inside. Clean them glasses. After they're done with my floor, my husband and I are gonna go grocery shopping. I want to make some meatballs and rice for dinner. Isn't that good? Not bad. My glasses are very, very scratched up. So I have to make an appointment to get a new pair. But in case I lose them, I... Let's see, one, two, three, four. It comes in a five pack. So, five pack glass cleaner. That was. Doo, 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 I don't know. Okay. Keep your glasses clean for a dollar forty seven for a five pack. So, not bad, y'all. Not bad. Here's another one of those nuts. At first, I didn't know what it was. I'm like, what the is that? Another one of those nuts. Okay, another disappointing thing. I'll still use them, though. Another disappointing thing is I thought... Okay, let me show you the picture. Oh, if I can find them. Let me show you the picture of them and I thought they were going to be okay see this picture right here 
I thought it was going to be larger. 10 piece hair clips. There's my 10 piece hair clips. Baby hair clips. So, like I said, I'm not going to contact Timu and say, hey, I thought these were going to be larger. I want my money back. No, I'll still use them. My niece will use them. I'll still use them. I'll just, you know, for the hair that doesn't want to cooperate, pull it up and wall up. There you go. I'll still use them. I'll just keep them in the in the bag. Right. Put them right there. Those were it's a ten piece hair clips for a dollar seventy eight. Too good to be true? I don't know. All right. I thought I would try out one of these bags that you stick in your vehicle for your purse. And this is one of those purse holders. You stick your purse in it, you attach it to underneath your headrest on both sides, and you stick your purse in there. This way, you know, this is facing the back seat. It's got a nice little pocket here. And I can put my sunglasses or my cell phone or whatever. And this way, my purse is not taking up the console and will still be able to. Because sometimes my purse will hit against the radio or hit against the the air conditioner button or whatever and there goes the air conditioner when you don't need the air conditioner so I thought I'd get one of these you know stick your purse in in fact I'm going to go hook it up after I do the video stick my purse in that way it's not in the way it's a good size where I could stick my big purses even. My new purse should fit in there. Even though the purse is a little bigger than maybe. Yeah. Stick your purse in there. And I thought, why not? we will do that and that was car handbag holder six dollars and 79 cents for that all right two more and then this haul will be done this i have no idea what this is It says, what does dishwasher say? I have no idea what this thing is. Is it worn by y'all? It is worn by us today. It's near the 90s. My husband says it's super hot outside. I haven't been outside. I've been doing things. Okay. I think I know what this is. I thought I was ordering. Um, what is this? No, 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 no. For heaven's sakes. I 
I just lost it. Give me a minute, y'all. Okay, here we go. I thought I was ordering a... Okay, this is a crystal sun catcher. And it's like... It looks more like a necklace to me. I don't know. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. That's why it looks like it. Okay, there we go. Isn't that beautiful? It's a crystal sun catcher. I had no idea. I think it's very pretty. It's also going to go... I don't know. I might hang it. I don't get a whole lot of sun in my kitchen window. But... I thought it was very, very pretty. Okay. The crystal sun catcher was $2.00. And 98 cents. Alright. Last thing. In this haul. I bought myself a pair of shoes, y'all, and I thought they were groovy, and it's just a pair of slip-on shoes, slip-on and go pair of shoes. I saw them and I thought, okay, that's groovy, I like them. I like them. I'm just hoping that they fit. And here they are, y'all. Slip on pair of shoes. Isn't it cool? <laughs> I thought they were cool. I really did. So we're going to try, I happen to have my foot sitting right here, and here we go. They feel kind of stiff and like cardboard, but, oh no, y'all, I think I got the wrong size. They don't fit. It doesn't fit. I might have to take my sock off. So if I take my sock off, let's see if they're going to fit. Okay, without the sock, they fit. Without the sock, they fit. Boy. Okay, there we go. So, don't wear the socks. I guess that's the way it's supposed to be. You just don't wear the socks. So, those were for the tennis shoes, and I am missing one thing and you'll see what that is later uh, for the tennis shoes that was women's colorful flat shoes for $14.27 so not bad same same price that you would pay at Walmart for a cheapy pair of shoes they kind of feel sort of cardboardy ish but here's the bottoms of them I thought for a slip-on pair of shoes 
you know, I got a size 9. I thought it would be stretchy enough because I do have wide feet. But I guess the canvas is some kind of, uh, you know, that kind of canvas. Easy to clean. I just won't be wearing them out in the mud or anything because we are in the rain season here and you know. Yeah, so with the socks they don't fit. But or with the sock yeah, with the socks they don't fit and without the socks they do fit. So when I go to the grocery store today I'm going to throw these on and grab my purple purse and we'll be out the door. So, y'all, that is it. That is my Timu haul. Disappointed with a couple of things. I love this sun catcher. I really do. Disappointed with a couple of things like the dish mat. The dish mats, for sure, and the hair clips. But other than that, and I will use it. Maybe I'll put it on the on the uh, table and use it for like a hot pad or something. I don't know. It might melt. I don't know. Maybe I'll. I do have a mouse for my computer so who knows but anyways video is going on way too long it's going on an hour now so until next time be kind to one another you never know when that person's not going to be there in your life too many deaths going on around here too many I mean too many shootings in the world so be kind to one another love each other you like you want them to love like you would love somebody else love that other I don't know where I'm going with it I don't know but anyways peace y'all